The holy book for Christians is divided into two parts. The first, the Old Testament, is the foundation on which the second, the New Testament, is constructed. That's how they're linked. The old set the stage for the new. In terms of content, the New Testament focuses on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ, who lived approximately 2,000 years ago. The historical record of Jesus is drawn from an astonishingly short three-year period of time. What Jesus said, what he did over those three years, that's the heart and soul of the New Testament. The Old Testament goes back much further than the time of Christ and originated in the special relationship between God, the Creator, and the family into which Jesus would eventually be born. The Old Testament was written between the 14th and 5th centuries BCE, a stretch of time covering roughly 900 years. Approximately 30 writers authored the narrative of the Old Testament, but the writing started with one man, Moses. Raised in the Egyptian palace, he was educated as a member of the royal family, but Moses was also a Jew. He not only had access to the vast libraries of Egypt, he also had access to the spoken accounts of Jewish oral tradition. Now, jump back ahead a thousand years or so. The New Testament was written in the first century A.D. by people who were with Jesus during the three years of his public ministry, were with or had direct access to first-hand evidence. This turns out to be a big issue when discussing the origin of the New Testament. It contains eyewitness accounts to the miracles and teachings of Jesus, as well as the letters that circulated among the first Christian communities. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was raised from the dead. He was seen alive by people who had also seen him die. Resurrection authenticated his divine authority because regular humans don't come back from the dead, and regular humans don't reshape planetary history based on three years of public behavior. 